Raya, hey, I want to know what about homosexuality and and Islam in Quran says something, what do you believe? Well, um, as I had mentioned before, as a Muslim, once a person decides to be a Muslim, that means we believe in everything that Allah has given us as instruction in the Quran and also in sayings and teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So anything he says is lawful, we take as lawful. Anything he says is unlawful, we say it's unlawful. So we don't compromise and say, well, it, maybe it's unlawful, but now today everything has changed and we can compromise anything like this. So this is just to give you a general ruling. But in specific, uh, homosexuality is condemned in its strongest sense in Islam, and in the Quran, Allah tells us, talks about the people of Lut or Lot, people uh, at the time of uh, Prophet Abraham, his uh, nephew, his name was Lot, he was a prophet of God. He lived in a town that was people, men lusted after men. And Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he talks about, they were the first one in the alameen, in the wolves that acted this way. Men lusted after the men and they left their women. They left their women. And Allah considered this a very heinous act, a great sin. And they never listened to the Prophet. And in fact, they wanted to even uh, go after the angels that came to the Prophet to destroy them, which they didn't know beautiful. They, they looked like beautiful men. And anyway, uh, God destroyed them. And from then on, God tells us very clearly that marriage is between man and a woman. There is no if and but or anything other than this. There is no relationship between a sexual relationship between any other entity but a man and woman, and that is only in form of marriage. Now that you get engaged, you can have sexual relations with your your no it's only through uh marriage anything other than that is condemned does that make sense yeah yeah of course <laughs> like, you know, no, i mean yeah you are following what is the message of allah this is the message i'm following it and i'm not only following it i'm asking you does that make sense to you that a marriage, a relationship, has to be between a man and a woman, not a man and man, a woman and woman. I mean, I know that there are a lot of men and a lot of women that have another choices, you know. It's, it's not my way, but I know that some of them feel it really strong inside, you know. What, what to do with some woman or some men that they really feel something strong with the same sex? Gender. This is exactly what happens when human beings take the law into their own hands. Nature, natural law, nature law, political law, social law, they take it in their own hands. At one time, they believe that this such and such act is okay, and on the other hand, they condemn it. They change things. Ever since creation, human beings made laws and changed laws. When a person doesn't believe in God, they go after whatever feels right. Because at some point when I was not really practicing Islam, I was into new age. And the, the idea there that they uh, talked about is whatever feels right, that means it's right. And so, a good thing that I didn't fall into this. So if a person feels very strong towards same sex, they really feel it, they really... This does not make it right. Where is God into this whole process? So that it cannot, a person cannot believe in God and believe in their own laws and change the law of God, and especially something that Allah has in the strongest sense condemned. It cannot be. So if they want to feel that way, if nobody forces anybody to do anything, they what they're free to do whatever they want to do. You cannot go fight them, go to war with them, leave them be, you know, just as human beings, we respect other human beings. But as far as if somebody is asking me about God's, God's point of view about this, 
it's clearly condemned. There's no other choice about it. Mm. Make sense? <laughs> okay.